Hi, I'm Margaret from Margaret's Crafts. I wanted to share with you my December updates for my Count It Cross Stitch. Uh, I have no uh, finished items, but I do have uh, some whips and some, um, I have two new whips, two new starts. Uh, now starting for my whips, I'll start off with uh, my Love You Always by Gisela. It's the two lovebirds. It's a kit that I picked up at Walmart. And here is where I was the last time. And here's where I am now. I have the two birds in, incomplete, and I started down into the, um, the, the lettering, the wording that's below them. This is a gift that I'm making for my husband. Uh, next I have the um, Magnificent Wizard. Uh, this is a, I think it's Dimensions kit that I picked up years and years ago. And I'm making this for my oldest son. And here's the completed picture of what it'll look like. Uh, here's where I was last week. And here's where I am now. Or last time I showed it to you. The dragon's end, except I need to finish one more wing. I have most of the sky done in the background on the sides. And I started into the um, the wizard with his orb. And then that's the, the flash from his orb. And I still have the castle, which is going to go over here. And the wizard. The wizard and then the dragon, his legs right here on a, like a clip. Uh, next I have uh, Northern Lights. This is one I'm making for my youngest son. And here's a picture of the finished item. It's two wolves sitting on a cliff and the aurora borealis in the background is in the shape of a, another wolf watching over them, it seems. Uh, here's where I was. Here's where I was last week, last time. And here's where I am now. That's the wolf is in the northern lights with all the stars around him. And there is the beginning of the, the wolves that will be sitting on the cliff. This is the beginning of the wolves that will be sitting on a cliff. And then it's two wolves down here. Right there, that's the first wolf, and then the other wolf is right around here. And then the rest of the, the aurora borealis coming down. So I don't have too far to go on this one. And 
those were my three whips that I had started. Now I've started uh, in January, I've started uh, two new starts. And to start off with, I started a Mirabilia uh, for the beginning of January. Uh, I started it on January 1st, but noticed that I didn't like the fabric that I had, uh, I was putting it on, and then I pulled that out, I tried to dye it, it didn't dye dark enough, so I had to go get some more dye, and I tried, and then I dyed it again, and then I didn't like, um, I'm just starting back into cross-stitching from years ago, and to start off with a big picture, I, and I was starting off on um, even weave, which I've never done even weave before, and I just felt like I didn't want to do it on even weave for such a big project, starting right off back away. So I'm starting. Uh, I'm going to start some little projects on that material, and I went out and got some 16 count Ada, and dyed it to the colors that I want. And this is April's blue diamond. And this hasn't made it into the rotation, so I just worked on it for for a day when I first got the material all dyed up, and it goes into my rotation for next week. My rotation is I work on all of my items for one week. They they uh, when I come home in the evening after work, uh, between dinner and be, uh, you know going to bed, I do my cross stitching. So, like, from Monday through Friday, I work on an item. And then Saturday and Sunday, I usually don't cross-stitch. But now with the new, two new items I picked up, uh, this will be going into a four-week. Sorry about that. This will be going into, this will be starting uh, into my weekly rotation. So I'll have four items that I work on for one week. So that's one I, you know, so I'll eat for every month I'll have a week of working on that item. Then on Saturday and Sunday, uh, I'll pick up my other new start and I'll work on it on Saturday and Sunday only. Uh, this is the fabric that I dyed. It's a 16 count Ada. Excuse me. And I picked the spot where the, you know, where the patterning of the fabric is. And I started, you know, I started, count it down so far, and I started with her hair. So I have her hair started just a little bit in here. And then right here, I don't know if you can see that because it's in white. It's her wing that I'm starting up. So... This will get worked on. It falls into the rotation for next week. So I'll have a whole week to work on this. Like I said before, I do my rotations for a week. And I have two, they were supposed to be here yesterday. I have two new um, Q-snaps are coming. They said they're uh, going to be delivered today. And I have to surge my edges. Uh, so that's the fabric that I have for that. And my other new start is um, uh, a card that I received on Facebook. You know how they send out Christmas cards and stuff on Facebook or just announcements or something. So I saw this picture and I fell in love with it. And I was asking everybody, well, I asked a couple people and I asked in two groups and I never did get an answer uh, about the copyright laws. So I was afraid to show this, but I saw somebody else found the picture and showed there. So I'm going to show it anyway. I'm not making this to sell. This is for my personal use. And so I went to uh, picture to pattern, pick to pick to pe pick to pat, and I uh, downloaded the image on there. It's uh, Black Nativity. And it, I think it came out really good. And I put the highest 
a pretty large picture on 16 count ADA because uh, it, it's going to be a full coverage uh, with the highest number of threads, which I think it was 60, 60 or 60 something threads. And I've worked on that for the last two weekends because that's the weekend only one that I do. And since it's a full coverage, I start it into the corner. And you can't really see anything but a bunch of dark blues and medium blues. But uh, right in here is some dark browns from his, uh, right in here is some dark browns starting to come in from his uh, shepherd's hook. And over here is just like uh, the dark sky and it's like uh, some kind of a palm tree or something. It's right there. A tree is right there. So I'm starting to come into some of the lighter colors. It's not showing up. I'm just coming into some of the, you can see it's some of the lighter blues are coming right in here. So I just work on this on Saturday and Sunday along with my knitting and crocheting on the weekend. I work, I take a knitting with me. Uh, so I'll work on that on uh, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, that's all that my, my cross stitching that I have. I have three um, whips and two new starts. Uh, now for what I have plans for 2016 is I'm working on those same five pictures in the rotation that I told you. Each one gets a week, the first four, and then the nativity set I work on on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, what I have coming up as I finish my projects, because that's all the starts, that's all the whips that I want to have. Uh, as I finish my projects, I've already started kitting these ones up. I had showed you before. I had these all kitted up. Uh, I just, I didn't put my Ada in here. I have, I have it, but I don't have it in here yet. I have to cut it down and search the edges. Uh, when I finish the Aurora Borealis one, the uh, Northern Lights, uh, that's for my youngest son. And then he's getting this one, which is the Dream Catcher. So it's all kitted up, and it says, uh, follow your dreams, for they are the hope for the future. And it's uh, uh, a, a dream catcher. He loves dream catchers. So that I have ready to go for him. And then my other side, I have this kitted up for him. And the one, that's the, uh, with the, uh, dragon, the mag magnificent wizard. And this is, I love cross stitch dragons and unicorns. Eight, uh, fantasy create, uh, creatures to stitch. That's the front of the book. I picked it up at Joanne's. And this red dragon here is the one I'm going to make him. Except I'm not making it on red. I'm making it on black. Yeah, I, I know. Another black Ada. So that's going to be on black. And I think that green is going to really stand out. And then what I started kidding up is some little items. What I want to do, out of the prairie schooler, and I already started kidding them up, and I have and I'm, I'm keeping these two together because the colors are almost all the same colors, so they'll be in the same kit. And the one that I'm going to do on this one is X is for cross stitch down at the bottom over here. Right there. X is for cross stitch. That's a nice small one. And 
right here. S is for sewing. Those are the two small ones that I have uh, kitted up. And these are the ones that I'm going to try on the uh, 28 count uh, even weave. And uh, for my goodies, which is my stash acquisitions, uh, I only thing I bought is I bought two new cues snap frames, which should be they were supposed to be in yesterday. That's why I've been putting this off. And they said they'll come in today. I bought uh, uh, 11 inch one and a 17 inch one. And other than that, I just bought. Uh, DMC thread and um, Krennic to do the um, to put into my kits and for Christmas my sons picked up my sons and my husband uh, picked up some uh, cross stitch and knitting stuff that I wanted and some of the cross stitch stuff that they got me is some thread heaven and all I did was I put a magnet on the back of it because then it's, I, I set this on my frame where the screw is and it'll just sit there or I can sit it on my, um, my picture. But for now I just keep it back here when I'm not, I don't have a picture ready to go on it. And the other thing is a little bit big to show. It is a sit on frame that my husband picked up for me for um, for Christmas and it's the one with the frame and the, the, scroll frame, the, the scroll frame connected to it but we um, <coughs> I altered it just like I altered my um, my stand my uh, stand my stand quilt cross stitching stand uh, where I had put the bar across I took pieces from my very first one that I had that had pieces missing and I made it into the same thing where I could just sit my my thing on it. Let me show you. Okay. Here's the adjustments that I made to it. You know, there's the part that you sit on that goes up underneath your leg. Here is the part that's connected and then what it does is this piece that I I have right here is the piece that your scroll frame is it connects to right there. So you can either use your scroll frame, and if you don't have a scroll frame with the uh, holes in the side, because mine's that I picked up at Joanne's don't, you just drill a hole into one of the sides. But we added these extra this extra piece here that goes across the top and I haven't I just we just did it so I don't have the I like knobs on the bottom of mine and uh, my frame when I'm in the room working because I like my cue snaps my frame can sit right here so I can still use this frame. I don't have a tight. I can still use this frame for my snap frames like that. I mean my cue snaps can sit on it just like that. Like I said, I'm just going to change out these and put the knobs like I have on my other one. And so it just fits right there. And I can have it on my lap and cross stitch like that. Because I do like using the Q steps. But you can use a scroll frame, even if you don't, if, if I didn't want to take this part off. Excuse me. I can still rest my scroll frames the same way and stitch like that on my lap. I've done it. And not with the squirrel frame, but with the Q snaps, and it works very well. But the squirrel frame will work the same way too. So any squirrel frame would also work on this. 
and then it, I just sit it like this when I'm when I have it in the room and with the on the couch when I'm sitting on the couch watching TV. That sits in here. My uh, stand, uh, my stand stays in. That sits in the living room, and my stand stays in my uh, my craft room. Uh, so that's all that I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching my videos. If you enjoyed them, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.